As the canned food industry sector continues to grow, it's an appropriate time to look at not only the reasons behind that growth, but also at the challenges which cans present to food producers in terms of x-ray inspection for contaminants. The more canned food that's produced, the more cans that will need to be inspected. So effective and reliable x-ray inspection methods become more important than ever. Currently growing at a compound annual rate of 3.8%, the global canned food sector is expected to be worth 108 billion US dollars by 2022. What's helping to make it so successful? Firstly, changing food habits in Asia Pacific and South America are leading to booming demand. And secondly, manufacturers are demanding sustainability, convenience, safety and quality for their food packaging. Canning meets all these criteria. Metal packaging is sustainable because it's almost infinitely recyclable, with no loss of physical properties. On average, more than half of every food and beverage can is made from recycled materials, enhancing any business's green credentials. The long shelf life which canned food offers is attractive both to producers and consumers. Cans airtight sealing, heat sterilisation and shelf stability all contribute to prolonging the viability of the contents and their tamper resistance offers additional reassurance to consumers. Cans are proven to be safer for food. According to a 2005 review by the Centre for Science in the Public Interest, in almost 4,500 foodborne related outbreaks and well over 138,000 cases of illness, not a single commercially produced can of fruit or vegetable was directly accountable. Canning locks in the nutrients in food. With no oxygen to react with, canned foods stay stable until the can is opened, giving them a longer shelf life and reducing food waste from spoilage. Some canned foods also have more antioxidants than fresh or frozen food. For example, a medium-sized uncooked fresh tomato has just 3.7 milligrams of lycopene, whereas a half cup of canned tomatoes has 11.8 milligrams. There are two different can shapes. The most common is the shallow or tall round can, which is mostly used for processed fruits and vegetables, soups, baby foods, beans and so on. The second can shape is rectangular, which again can be shallow or tall, and is mostly used for fish, meat, sauces or oils. Both shapes may be made in either two or three pieces. Two-piece cans have a body with integrated bottom and top parts, with an opening in the top if it's a beverage can. Three-piece cans have a bottom part, cylindrical body and top part, again with an opening in the top if required. Food safety is a primary concern for the food industry. Regulations like the Food Safety Modernisation Act demand a robust product inspection programme, as do protecting brand reputations and consumers. Retailers increasingly require a formal x-ray inspection programme to satisfy their supply agreements. The same programme will also satisfy the requirements of HACCP, which stands for Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Points, and HARP-C, standing for Hazard Analysis and Risk-Based Preventive Controls and the programme will ensure compliance with four separate standards recognised by the Global Food Safety Initiative. X-ray systems installed in the production process can be outstanding at detecting physical contaminants, whether they're metal, glass, mineral stone, calcified bone or high-density plastic. The systems can also be used simultaneously to monitor fill levels, spot missing or broken products and measure mass. X-ray inspection of metal cans does present some challenges. For example, metal packaging absorbs more X-rays than other types, and the ribbed sidewalls and tiered base of a can may create difficult to inspect areas. There are also a number of factors which can affect detection sensitivity, such as the product's presentation, how it's distributed inside the can, the base profile of the can, the ring pool, and the size of the can. X-ray inspection is more effective when the can has only recently been filled and before it's sterilised, as there will be no air bubbles. This makes detection levels, especially of glass and stone, far higher. 
A can's base profile depends on how strong the vacuum is in the filling process. A stronger vacuum means the base rises up more inside the can, creating a blind spot where contamination detection can be difficult. This usually affects cans of 100 mm diameter or more. How far the base rises also depends on the type of top seal used, as a flexible foil top seal, for example, moves under vacuum, so the can base deflects less. But with a rigid metal top seal, the base deflects more. Ridges or grooves in the base of some cans will also hide small contaminants. Steel ring pulls on round cans can also affect detection. Unlike square cans, round cans tend to move on the conveyor, so the presentation of the ring pull to the X-ray varies from can to can. However, the latest X-ray inspection software has high detection sensitivity with steel ring pulls for small cans. The high line speeds found in the food and beverage sector also make accurate contamination detection difficult and make high resolution images essential. Other challenges are checking fill levels, rejecting cans without denting them, rejecting cans without causing them to fall, removing consecutive contaminated cans and matching reject timings to the conveyor speed. So the right x-ray system, carefully matched to the application, is crucial to achieve the optimum level of contamination detection and quality control. There are two basic types of x-ray system, vertical and horizontal beam. Horizontal beams also offer the choice of single or split beam systems. The vertical beam system is most effective for inspecting small cans with ring pools. Inspecting from above with a vertical beam provides the best sensitivity for cans which are shorter than their width and length because the X-ray beam encounters less product. The beam creates a plan view image of the can, making it easy to see the internal components and to analyse the can in detail. The horizontal beam X-ray system is best for packaged products that are taller than they are wide and it's most effective with standard and larger cans. This is because it will pass through less product, creating a side image of the can, and so have more sensitivity. A side image also makes it easy to apply dynamic software filters to the densest areas of the can, which are usually the perimeter of the packaging. This optimizes detection levels and minimizes false reject rates. A single horizontal beam system uses one generator and a single detector set. There is a variety of beam geometry sizes available to encompass the largest container passing through. With the beam's focal spot level with the base of the container, it can provide good detection in the can body, though contaminants in the base channel can be harder to detect as they can be hidden in the strengthening rings. The dome effect of a larger vacuum may also hide smaller contaminants. A split horizontal beam, on the other hand, makes these small contaminants on the can base or side walls easier to detect. It inspects a larger area, increasing the probability of detection and makes this the best option for inspecting most cans. Two beams from one generator are angled away from each other and strike two detectors. So every can is imaged from two angles, increasing coverage inside the can and of its base, which increases the probability of contaminant detection. Recent key enhancements in X-ray systems include very high accuracy, even at the very high line speeds utilised in food production. Advanced systems learn what constitutes an acceptable product and work in conjunction with reject systems to reject any which are inconsistent, with no reduction in throughput. If good containers cause false rejects, they can be analysed to identify the root cause so that manufacturing processes can be improved earlier on the line. No matter how frequently contamination or defects occur, or where the contaminant lies in the can, high-speed short-stroke pusher reject devices will enable quick removal of faulty products. Reject confirmation and bin full features send an alert if a rejected pack hasn't entered the bin. And an alert is also sent when the bin is full. The reject verification feature ensures all necessary products are rejected and the reject check ensures reject products don't enter the good product path. You can find more details in the white paper on rejects available from the Metla Toledo website.
The latest X-ray systems can be installed easily over an existing production line and are highly adaptable to individual food manufacturers' requirements, minimising downtime and disruption. Integrated conveyors also make it easier to control space between products without spacing devices and eliminate the need for curtains, which may disrupt cans entering the system. Recent advances in imaging software have improved filtering techniques. The image to inspect it can now have container parts removed from it so that the sensitivity is optimised and false rejects are minimised. At the same time, a choice of generator and diode options helps to increase reliability and detection sensitivity. X-ray systems can be customised to individual applications, helping to future-proof the investment. Market-leading systems also enable quick and easy product setup and changeovers. For manufacturers who produce a range of different products, this greatly reduces production downtime and associated costs. Even the best X-ray systems need regular maintenance to maintain optimum performance. For that reason, a supplier with a global service team can provide support quickly and globally. Professional installation, preventive maintenance, performance verification, genuine spare parts, equipment upgrades and staff training are all essential. They can help manufacturers to increase output and profitability, proactively identify defects to avoid sudden breakdowns, avoid unexpected and costly downtime and repairs by maintaining equipment at its optimum, maximise equipment life and return on investment by minimising wear and tear, and aid compliance with regulatory demands. Market-leading systems offer all this through service care packages and five-year generator warranties, subject to terms and conditions, covering repair or replacement parts costs and labour. Regulations and consumer demands require the food and beverage industry to implement reliable inspection methods for product safety and integrity. Innovations in X-ray inspection technology mean solutions are now available to help ensure the utmost safety and consistent quality of a wide variety of products packaged in metal cans. As noted at the beginning of this webinar, the global canned food market is booming. The most innovative, reliable and fully featured X-ray inspection systems will help manufacturers to play an even more successful part in it. To download your copy of the white paper on which this webinar is based, please visit the Mechler Toledo website.